It's a Thermwood 2016. This is the X from right to left. And this is how you turn on the vacuum that sucks down the, the piece of wood to the board so the machine can work. This is the Y and the Z is up, is up and down. So uh, that's the controller. But you need an extra computer to draw the, the cabinets on it, which it has a software e-cabinets. But you, you, have, you could draw it in here too. I have e-cabinets on this one too. So this I put a printer afterwards, a label printer and a regular printer. And how it works is uh, as soon as you press star, it prints out this big paper. And this is the little piece that I cut. And I cut it back here. You see that, that outline there? And I was just uh, testing out the tools. So right here you see number one. So that would be piece number one. And this is the label that it says number one. And so you peel this off and you put it on the, on the piece. It holds 11 tools. Right now I have set up for uh, cabinets. So it has a cutting tool, a dowel tool, and things like that like uh, the, the ones for the shelf i'm a cabinet shop so that's why i bought this thing and then this is the oh, this is a controller here this is the ac that way everything stays nice and cool in there This has the auto lube. So every time the machine moves, it auto uh, loops the piece. So all these rails get auto looped as the machine is working. This is the vacuum that uh, that sucks down the, the material to the table, 15 horsepower. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, turn on the, the machine, which you have to do it every time. And it does come with this, uh, this transformer right here that you need it. I think it's a 223 phase, but I'm not an electrician, so. So the way you turn it on, you turn on the breaker you hear the, the sound? So right now everything is uh, ready to go. This is how you turn on the vacuum. I have it manually. You can do all this wirelessly if you wanted to. You see this is the AC. So now the windows is starting. And this does come with the... Uh, with the latest version. So as soon as it turns on, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just turn on the labeler in the back. So this you have to do it every morning. The reason why I'm selling this is uh, I just bought uh, two beam saws. We want to start making around 400 cabinets a day. And uh, I was able to cut uh, 46 cabinets on this machine, only cutting it. But uh, if you really want to work this machine, you can. But uh, even at that level, it's not enough for me because of... Uh, we sell a lot of kitchens but this is the latest version Thermwood 10 and they do have a class that uh, I forgot how much you pay in Indiana and you can learn this stuff and they also have a, a online thing where you pay $30 a month and you have like unlimited access to a whole bunch of videos so this is how you home the machine you hold this button Uh, you hold this button here and you press the green one here, sorry. 
See, now the machine is home in itself. I'm just going to make sure that the labor print printer is working because it's on auto print right now. So every time we do a job, it's going to print. See, this is the Wasp 305. I do have the wrong paper on there. I ordered some new one. So I'm going to print test and it's supposed to come out right here. Okay, I'm going to stop the video now because a customer is behind me and I'm, I'm going to cut a little cabinet.